Hello, dear viewers. Andrew Lapamardo here again for Marvelous Videos. And today, we're going to talk about the top 45 cyberpunk anime of all time. Now, please bear with me as I may mispronounce some of the names and locations in this video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into it. Anime has often dabbled into various genres, starting from romantic series that revolve around classical music to a series where mentally unstable teenagers pilot huge mechanical robots. The possibilities have been explored far and beyond. One such genre that has always seen great popularity due to both the nature of the genre itself and the phenomenal content that has been produced under it is cyberpunk. Conceptually, cyberpunk is a subgenre of science fiction, similar to steampunk. While steampunk deals with a historical setting with steam-powered machinery for the technology, cyberpunk dives into a highly advanced world where technology is as developed as man himself. However, the quality of life is far from being as good as the tech. Basically, it is a blend of high-tech and low-life, a dystopian society where robots and humans often coexist, or humans turning into cyborgs with cybernetic enhancements. There is also high emphasis on the internet and its power over society. And the content for this genre has been exquisite to say the least. So let's dive into 45 such anime series and movies that have been able to grasp the essence of cyberpunk phenomenally. To be completely you have my deepest sympathies. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. <laughs> Cyber City Oedo 808. The story is set in a futuristic dystopian Japanese city called Oito. Its cyber police unit had restarted a feudal practice called Home to fight digital crime. This practice used criminals who had committed high-tech offenses and murders. Gogul, Sengoku, and Benton were criminals serving sentences exceeding over 300 years in an orbital penitentiary. If the criminals worked for the cyber police unit, they would receive a deduction in their sentence for each duty. The police chief, Hasagawa, kept them in check by tying an explosive collar around their neck. The collar would explode if the criminals failed to complete their task within the time periods given. The criminals are given a jetty which is a traditional Japanese weapon. There are three episodes in the series. The first episode, Memories of the Past, revolves around Sengoku, who has to save 50,000 people who were trapped in the tallest skyscraper of Oedo after the central computer had taken over. In the second episode, The Decoy Program, Gogul investigates a murder and ends up having to oppose a military cyborg while rescuing an ex-partner. In the third episode, Crimson Media, Benton investigates a man who is on a quest for immortality. He ends up finding a young woman who had transformed into a vampire with telekinesis. From the start, the very nature of our current social system has contained the mechanisms to trigger such an amazing occurrence. Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex One of the most known cyberpunk series, Ghost in the Shell, focuses on the year 2030. A law enforcement squad called the Public Security Section 9 investigates cases pertaining to cybercrime and cyberterrorism. Most of the population has become cyborgs in the Nihama Prefecture of Japan. In the first season, the Laughing Man incident is brought into light where a hacktivist reveals to Motoko Kusanagi or Major how the Japanese government suppresses information regarding the cure for a cyberization disease to profit off of the micromachine used to treat it. He hacks into everyone's vision and cameras and begins to gain public popularity. He took the opportunity to plaster his logo over the camera's AI and the eyes of onlookers. His image is later used by Japanese politicians to garner popularity while the cabinet labels Major and Togosu as domestic terrorists for trying to dismantle the truth about the corrupt government. 
In the end, Section 9 brings down the corrupt politicians and companies to justice, and the government is dissolved. The second season revolves around the social ramifications of the Third and Fourth World War, where refugees are invited to Japan for cheap labor. A new villain called Kazodu Guda takes center stage after coming in contact with a domestic terrorist group called Individual Eleven. As the head of the Cabinet Intelligence Service, who ends up causing the deaths of several refugees. In the end, Gouda is revealed to be the marionette pulling the strings for every incident, while Hideo Kuze stands beside the refugees in the fight. In the end, Gouda is killed before he can defect to America. <laughs> Battle Angel Alita Set in 2563, when Earth has been devastated following a war called The Fall, Dr. Dyson Ito, a scientist, discovered a tattered female cyborg scavenging for body parts and attaching a new cyborg body to her brain. He names her Alita after his late daughter. As Alita awakens, she has no memories from her past. She meets Hugo. One night, Alita gets ambushed by a gang that kills Cyborg. Their leader, Gruishka, was also present. Alita fights them, causing them to retreat. Turns out, Ito is a bounty hunter called the Hunter Warrior that the factory had hired. <laughs> Ito discourages Alita from becoming a bounty hunter, despite her flair in combat. She discovers an advanced cyborg body in a crashed spaceship and recognizes it to be the body of a berserker, the body of an enemy from Mars from the war. She wants to be installed in it, but Ito refuses. Alita becomes a bounty hunter hunter warrior, like Ito, but a brawl breaks out at a bar where Gruishka arrives and destroys Alita's body. Ito is forced to transplant Alita into the body of the Berserker. After Hugo, who Alita has fallen in love with, is mortally wounded, his severed head is attached to her life support system by Dr. Shirin. Alita wounds the cyborg hunter, Zapan, with his Damascus blade to save Hugo. Hugo acquires a new cyborg body and realizes that he cannot fulfill his dream to be a citizen of the wealthy city of Zalem. Alita fights the man who conned Hugo, Vector, and her nanotech body overpowers him with ease. In the end, Hugo tries to flee to Zalem but fails to do so when his body is shredded into pieces by a serrated defense ring being dropped. Alita fails to save him and Hugo falls to his death. He's dead? You sure? Real. Ergo Proxy this 23-episode anime series takes heavy inspiration from Gnosticism and philosophy. It is set in a future in a fictional town of Ramdo City, where humans coexist peacefully with auto-raves, androids. They all lived within domes, which are safe havens built for the people to live safely following an ecological disaster. However, a viral outbreak of the Kagato virus causes the androids to acquire self-awareness, which results in them committing murders. This threatened the peace that existed in the utopian, and yet, dystopian city. Meanwhile, the government secretly conducts experiments on Proxy. Proxy is a humanoid life form, but immortal and godly. It is believed that these beings will help humanity to survive. Do you really want to get that close? It's been a long time. The bureaucracy system of the city is divided into several departments that are controlled by the administration, run by a head known as the Regent. His granddaughter, Riel, is assigned with the task of investigating the murders committed by the auto raves. During her investigation, aided by her partner, Iggy, she learns about the humanoid proxy. An immigrant named Vincent Law also happens to be connected to these life forms. He lives in a commune in the outskirts out of fear of being hunted down. However, after Raoul Creed of the Security Bureau launches an assault on the place, Vincent leaves the commune and goes to his birthplace in Mosque. He had lost his memories and tries to recover them in Mosque. Meanwhile, he is joined by Riel there, who is trying to discover the truth about the proxies. In the end, she learns that the proxies had created the domes people lived in and could not function without their presence in these domes. Sonic 
Psychopaths. Psychopaths is set in Japan, which is under the governance of the Sybil system. Protagonist Akane Sunomori is a young woman who joins the Criminal Investigation Division and is assigned to Division 1 of the Public Safety Bureau. She must solve crimes with latent criminals. The Sybil system is a biomechatronic computer network that measures the biometrics of the Japanese citizens and their brains via the cymatic scan. The assessment it makes is known as the psychopaths, which determines whether a citizen has the potential to be a criminal or not. It also monitors the incline or decline of the index number and has a color-coded hue that alerts the law enforcement of the data. The index surpassing the threshold of 100 results in their arrest. Tsunamori watches Shinya Kogami for a mission and prevents her from decomposing a criminal because that would be considered murder. Her unit also uncovers the criminal dealings of Shogo Makashima, a criminal mastermind. However, Makashima's numbers on the civil system is low, so he cannot be harmed by the device used to punish the criminals, the Dominator. Tsunimura's unit hunts Makashima, who visits the android form of Sybil called Just Joshu Keisei. He refuses to join the ranks and flees instead. Kogami flees to kill Makashima due to a personal grievance of having his friend killed by the criminal. Kogami learns about Makashima's plans to start a biological war and in battle wounds him mortally. Sunimura tries to stop him, but Kogami ends up killing Makashima. Akira Akira is the story of Shitaro Kaneda. It is set in 2019 in a post-World War world. Neo-Tokyo has become the den of gang violence, terrorism, and corruption. During a rift with the rival clown gang, head of the Capsules gang, Kaneda's best friend, Tetsuo Shima, has a motorcycle accident and crashes into an ESP -er named Takashi, who had the aid of a resistance organization. Takashi is captured, Tetsuo is taken away, and the capsules are arrested. Kaneda interacts with Kei, an activist, and tricks the authorities into releasing her with the capsules. Shikashima and Dr. Onoshi discover that Tetsuo had acquired psychic abilities as powerful as Akira, who was the esp -er that had caused the destruction of Tokyo in 1988. The city council dismisses the threat of these powers, while the colonel decides to kill Tetsuo to save Neo Tokyo. Tetsuo escapes but returns to the hospital after suffering from headaches and hallucinations. Kaneda joins Kei's activist cell while the esp -er tries to kill Tetsuo. Tetsuo learns about Akira existing in a cryogenic storage from Kyoko and seeks him out. Neo Tokyo's military forces intend to destroy Tetsuo, who goes around killing people. He then arrives at the cryogenic storage where Kei engages him in a fight. Tetsuo defeats Kei and discovers that only Akira's remains have been left for scientific research. Tetsuo weakens after prolonged battles but mutates into a huge mass. Akira is revived to stop Tetsuo, who is drawn into another dimension with Kaneda. The new singularity destroys Neo Tokyo. Kaneda experiences the childhood of Tetsuo and the esp -ers. The singularity disappears soon after. Meanwhile, Tetsuo triggers the creation of a universe in another plane of life. Blame. Killy is a loner who possesses the gravitational beam admit. He searches for a possible extinct genetic marker called the net terminal gene to access the net sphere. The story is set in a technological world known as the city, where transhuman tribes, humans, and hostile cyborgs live. The city is also separated into floors by impenetrable barriers called the megastructure, which is undergoing a chaotic expansion. But the net terminal genes can stop it. It can also stop a murderous robot horde called Safeguard from destroying humanity. Killy and his partner, Sibo, meet a tribe of human warriors called the Electro Fishers. They restore Killy's ability to scan things visually, but it turns out Sanakin from the Fishers is a disguised safeguard. Killy and Sibo are attacked and brought to Toha Heavy Industries. They meet the AI Menzub and the human Seyo. Sibo gets a sample of Seyo's DNA and the silicone life destroys the mega structure they were brought into. They ally with provisional safeguards, but the silicone leader divines 
steal Seiyu's DNA to access the net sphere. A level zero safeguard is downloaded, which manifests in Sibo's body and destroys the entire region. Fourteen years pass by, and Killy's body repairs itself. Sibo was rescued by Sanakin and is incubating a sphere containing genetic information. Sibo and Sanakin end up dying in a final confrontation with the safeguard. Killy is shot, but he is carried to the city's surface where the sphere fails to hatch. In the end, Killy and a child are seen fighting in the city. Serial Experiments, Lane. Lane Iwakura is an adolescent girl from Japan. Her family is emotionally detached, with her father being obsessed with the computer. Not only is she a misfit, but her life takes a turn for the worse following the death of a student called Chisa Yomoda. Lane, along with the other girls of her school, receive an email from Chisa where she talks about abandoning her physical self and being alive in the virtual realm of Wired, a communication network similar to the internet, where she has apparently found God. Lane gets caught up in surreal events as she digs the mysteries of the Wired. The series assumes that the Wired could cause unconscious communication and would become the reality if an abstract link between humans and machines were created. Throughout the movie, the line between the reality and the virtual was blurred. Masami Eri was a project director for Protocol 7, i.e. the next-gen internet. He had acquired total control over the wire and uploaded his consciousness into it, leaving his physical self behind. Lane discovers that she is the artifact that can result in the falling of the wall between the material and the virtual world, and is asked to abandon her flesh. He convinces and even forces her to do so. Lane acquires control over everyone's mind and over reality, but is afraid to live in the wired as a god. In the end, she erases everyone's memory of her. <laughs> Megalobox. The story is set in the late 21st century, where boxers fight wearing exoskeletons. Everyone with a citizenship lives in an area called the administrative area, while those without a citizenship live in the slums known as the restricted area. An underground boxer known as Junk Dog, which is his ring name, wishes to enter a popular sport contest called the Megalobox. Here, the boxers wear exoskeletons called gears to fight. And the duels are significantly more lethal compared to regular boxing. Junk Dog is only known by his ring name and fought fixed matches in the restrictive area. One day, he almost crashes into the CEO of the Shirataro group, Yokiko Shirataro, while in the administrative area. Junk Dog gets into a fight with Sh Shirataro's bodyguard, Yuri, who is a Meglo boxing champion. Even though Yokiko stops the fight, Yuri seeks Junk Dog and beats him easily. He asks him to join Megloania, the boxing tournament. Junk Dog would need a citizenship ID to enter the ranking, so an ID is forged for him under the name Joe. He then trains to get to the top and go against Yuri in Megalomania. You're outside of your zone. Metropolis. Humans coexist with robots in the metropolis, but the robots are discriminated against and segregated. Meanwhile, the humans are poor and unemployed as the robots have taken their jobs away. A massive skyscraper called the Ziggurat has been constructed, which will allow mankind to extend their power all around the globe. However, a robot disrupts the opening ceremony. Duke Red Sun Rock, who is staunchly anti-robot, shoots it down. Detective Shansuko Ban and his young nephew Kenichi travel to Metropolis to apprehend Dr. Lawton, a rogue scientist who had conducted human trafficking. The scientist had recreated his deceased daughter, Tima, to use her for a powerful super weapon. Kenichi and Tima get separated from the others after falling into the sewer. A bond is formed between the two as he teaches her how to speak. Neither was aware of her being a robot. Kenichi later reunites with Shonsuko, and Tima is exposed as a robot. She is taken to Ziggurat alongside Kenichi. Tima goes insane when she learns about being a robot, and her military protocols take control instead. It orders a nuclear and biological attack on humanity for discriminating against robots. After massive explosions, Ziggurat starts to collapse. 
Tima tries to kill Kanichi, but he saves her. A large part of the metropolis is destroyed. A group of robots rebuild Tima. In the end, a photograph reveals that Kanichi rebuilds Tima and runs a robot workshop. Tech Snow Lies. Tech Snow Lies takes place in an underground city called Lux, which is treated as a sentient force. Ichise is a stoic prize fighter who satisfies a promoter by losing an arm and a leg. Run is a little girl with a gift that affects the entire city, while Onishi is a level-headed guy with lots of enemies. They are faced with challenges and witness events that determine the fate of their city. This man-made underground city is in a sorry state due to poor infrastructure and neglect. Three factions exist in the city and they battle to control it. Professionals who work with the criminals, a populist group, and young individuals with abilities acquired from Tech Snow Lies. Scientist Ariko Kamata finds Ichise and uses him as a test subject for the new Tech Snow Lies. With new limbs, he begins to work for Onishi. Meanwhile, Run can see possible futures, which makes her and Ichise realize that Lux is on the brink of destruction. The two of them are the only ones who can save it. Get to the gun turrets. The Animatrix. The Animatrix follows an anthology film with nine short films, which have been based on the film series The Matrix. In Final Fight of the Osiris, an army prepares to invade Zion. The crew of the Osiris discovers this and one of the members races inside the Matrix to warn Zion about it. To help her succeed, the other members fight invincible sentinels to buy her time. The Second Resistance, Part 1 and 2, revolves around an ultimate AI, as smart as humans, that has been created. Robots and humans try to coexist, but a war breaks out between the two. The humans lose and find themselves being trapped in the Matrix. Kid's story is set in a world which is a computer-generated fantasy that the robots have created. They use humans for energy. A young man discovers this and escapes the place after getting help from Neo the Hacker. Program revolves around Duo and Sis who fight in a virtual recreated feudal Japan. World Record is about a champion track star who accidentally breaks free of the computer-generated world for a brief time while running in the fastest race of his life. As he goes back to the real world, he loses his memories. Beyond has a young woman in Tokyo looking for her lost pet. She encounters some kids and plays Haunted House with them. However, Haunted House is nothing but a glitch in the computer world. The short film Detective Story is about Ash. Ash is a detective who is called upon by a mysterious organization. He is assigned the mission to hunt down the hacker Trinity. The last short film is called Matriculated. In this, a robot is placed in a fantasy world by scientists. The robot's friends come in and kill off all of the scientists, but one scientist remains standing at the end of the carnage. Him and the robot are isolated in the computer-generated world. Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is a 26 episode long seinen series that is set in 2071. Due to an accident with the hyperspace gateway, Earth is inhabitable so humans have moved to the rocky moons and planets. Bounty hunters, also known as cowboys, are registered under the Intersolar System Police and they chase after criminals for a reward. The crew of the Bebop ship consists of Spike Spiegel, Jet Black, Faye Valentine, Edward, and a Penbrook Walsh Corgi with human intelligence. The story is episodic and documents the days of the characters, in particular, Spike. They get involved in dangerous situations, and as the episodes progress, their backstories are dealt with. Spike's rivalry with a criminal called Vicious, Jet's reason for leaving the ISSP, and Faye's past on Earth is explored. Spike and Vicious were friends until Spike began to date Vicious's girlfriend Julia and left the syndicate. Vicious blackmails Julia into killing Spike, so she goes into hiding while Spike fakes his death. In the series, the two reunite to complete their plan. A hitman is sent after them and Julia is killed. Spike confronts Vicious after infiltrating the Syndicate and dispatches the remaining members of the Red Dragon. In the end, Spike kills Vicious, but is fatally wounded himself. In the final scene, he falls to the ground as the sun rises. Cyborg 009. 
The evil organization called the Black Ghost kidnaps nine people from around the world. The tyrant, Skull, leads the organization in experiments on those kidnapped to use them as weaponized humans and promote cyborg warfare. He turns the nine people into superpowered cyborgs, but his scientist, Dr. Isaac Gilmore, defects and helps the cyborgs escape the Black Ghost organization. These nine cyborgs join forces to stop the organization from starting the next world war, which it intended to do by supplying buyers with weapons for mass destruction. In the end, the Black Ghost organization is destroyed and the cyborgs fight several threats such as ancient civilizations, supernatural beings, and mad scientists. <laughs> Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040 The story is set in Tokyo, where robots called Boomers perform most of the manual labor. These robots are run by Genome, a mega corporation. Lina Yamazaki joins the office and observes one of these robots have gone rogue. The robot attacks people and causes destruction. The AD police join the scene to stop the boomers that have gone rogue. A new renegade group called the Night Sabers come into action and save the day. Dressed in cybernetic and armored hard suits, rock star Pris, boutique store owner Celia, and computer whiz Nini are all part of the group. Yamazaki joins them as well to be part of the Night Saber. As the series progresses, the Night Sabers go after rogue boomers. This causes Lennon McNichol and Dilly Wong from the AD police to get frustrated. Meanwhile, Genom is unhappy about this, so its leader and advisor try to unlock more technology for the boomers. A humanoid named Galaty, based on Celia's DNA, is discovered by Mason. It can control all the boomers. Genom cuts the funding of the AD police, causing the police to strike. Galatee's influence results in all the boomers going rogue. They trap the Night Sabers and the police people. In the end, the Night Sabers defeat Galatee. Cassern Sins. Cassern is a cyborg and a subordinate of the Breaking Boss, who had orders to assassinate the savior of mankind. Meanwhile, the Earth is doomed and nearing its ruin. The robots in this world have acquired self-awareness and as a result have subjugated humanity. Breaking Boss rules over the world with authority almost resembling a dictatorship. A girl named Luna is summoned by the people of the city for mankind's salvation. Breaking Boss identifies Luna as a potential threat and sends three cyborg warriors to kill her. Cassern, Lida, and Dio. Cassern is the strongest of them all and tracks Luna down, killing her. However, her death triggers a cataclysmic event which causes Earth to near its extinction. Hundreds of years pass by, the world's atmosphere is poisonous, humans can't reproduce and robots take over. Humanity is almost extinct, the environment is not kind to robots either, as it has caused their bodies to corrode. Cassern returns to this world, having disappeared after killing Luna. However, he has no memory of himself and the crime he has committed. Levius. Levius is set in the 19th century, where Imperial City has been damaged heavily in a war. Five years later, a new sport called metal boxing was developed where boxing is combined with robotic elements. The protagonist, Levius Cromwell, lost his father in the devastating war and was on the rise in the metal boxing circuit. He trains under his uncle, Zach Cromwell. Levius has one goal, to be promoted to grade one the highest rank for a boxer. Levius keeps striving until he reaches his goal, for which he has to defeat pro metal boxer Hugo Stratus. But another mysterious boxer called AJ Langdon defeats Hugo instead. Levius has to fight his other opponent as the future and dignity of their city depends on it as well. Appleseed. The film revolves around Dunan Newt. She looks for data that can restore the reproductive abilities of a race of genetically engineered clones called Bioroids. Newt is one of the last survivors of the global war. A second generation Bioroid called Hatomi was the reason why she had survived. Her former lover, Briarios Hakatenshears, who is now a cyborg, had stopped her attempt to escape. Newt was in the utopian city of Olympus, where people were half clone and half human. 
Three factions ran Olympus. The Council of Elders, General Edward Uranus III, and Prime Minister Athena Arios. An artificial intelligence system named Gaia that dwelled in the building of Tartarus observed the happenings of the city. As a resident of Olympus, Newt had joined ESWAT, a counter-terrorist organization. Newt's father, Carl's DNA, was used to create the Bioroids, so they were technically her brothers and sisters. But the reproductive abilities of the Bioroids were suspended, causing them to have short lifespan. Pain we have left is running out. However, the Apple Seed data had information that could restore the reproductive abilities of the Bioroids. Newt had activated a holographic recording to find the location of the Apple Seed data. She also discovers how Briarios had allowed a large battle suit to escape. Uranus tries to change Newt's mind by defaming Bioroids. Briarios is wounded after a battle, while Newt goes back to Olympus with the Apple Seed data to restore the Bioroids' reproductive function. Newt learns the plan of the Council of Elders who wanted to sterilize the humans and make Bioroids the planet's rulers. They activate the mobile fortress defenses of the city and launch their attack. Newt and Briarios fight together to shut the defenses down. In the end, they succeed, and Newt vows to fight for the future generation. Mardok Scramble, the first compression. Rune Balot is a girl who was taken by Shell. He had tried to kill the girl later and left her for dead. However, she is later saved and transformed into a cyborg. In the movie, Rune tries to stop Shell and his malicious gang. The story is set in Mardok City, a futuristic place. The protagonist, Rune Balot, used to be a prostitute, but she had turned into a vigilante after being taken away by Shell Septinos, an evil and infamous gambler. He tries to murder her in an explosion. However, Rune survives. She is taken in by Dr. Easter, and under the regulation MODOK Scramble 9, which allows experimental technologies to be used for the preservation of life, is turned into a cyborg. She is not alone though. An artificial intelligence system which exists in the form of a mouse accompanies Rune, and helps her adapt to her new life as a cyborg. The advanced technology fitted on her amps up her power and Rune trains to use them well, so that she can defend herself against Shell and his evil gang, who want her dead, because she can testify against them. Parasite Dolls Parasite Dolls is set in the city of Mega Tokyo and the Bubblegum Crisis universe. The story focuses on the branch which is a group of AD police. They have several tasks of stopping terrorist activities and also fighting against the carnage of boomers, who are androids that have gone rogue and become a menace to society. The branch is a secret unit of the AD police, and it solves crimes that revolve around these humanoid robots called boomers. The branch officer of the unit, Buzz, acquires a boomer for a partner. Meanwhile, Officer Michelson finds himself in crossroads as the line between being human and being being a robot begins to blur in front of him. Together, the two of them try to protect a world on the brink of destruction. <laughs> Armored Troopers Votums the story begins with a century-old galactic war between two nations, the Balarant and the Gilgamesh. The reason they were at war had been forgotten for a long time, so a truce was being fostered between the two. A weapon called the Armored Trooper had aggravated the con- This Armored Trooper was a mass-produced humanoid vehicle for combat. A single soldier could pilot this vehicle. These vehicles were also known as Votums, which stood for Vertical One-Man Tank for Offense and Maneuver. But their armors were thin and used artificial muscle made with combustible liquid. As a result, its pilots had a low chance to survive. Chirico QV is the main character of the series. He is a part of the special forces and is an armed trooper pilot. He has formerly fought for the Gilgamesh Confederation in the war. He is transferred to a unit for a mission where he is unaware of his doing. He steals secrets from his own side without any knowledge of doing so and is betrayed. 
Chirico is left to die, but the Gilgamesh military finds him, brands him as a traitor, and arrests him. He is tortured but later escapes while the military pursues him. Chirico seeks to find the truth of the operation and discovers an object he had to retrieve, a beautiful but mysterious woman who becomes the key for him to unravel the conspiracy. Gunslinger Girl The premise of the story is set in Italy, where there is a social welfare agency. This agency helps rescue young girls from hospitals who are at the verge of death and use the latest cybernetic advancements on their body, giving them another chance at life. These girls are brainwashed and trained to be lethal assassins and carry out the corrupt work and orders issued by the Italian government. However, they are still children at heart and seek the approval of their loved ones, while being aware of their emotions being inorganic and manufactured. Throughout the story, these young girls try to deal with their emotions and understand their feelings in a premise where they are bred as killers. Paprika Paprika is a story set in the near future, where a device called the DC Mini lets the user look into people's dreams. Dr. Atsutko Chiba uses this device illegally to treat psychiatric patients, where she assumes a different personality called Paprika. However, the DC Mini is stolen, which possesses a great threat as entering people's minds unrestricted can cause them to go insane due to mind control. The use of the device is banned after two scientists become its victims. Scientist Tokita is claimed to be inside his assistant Himuro's dreams, and Himuro becomes nothing more than an empty shell. Chiba realizes the chairman of the company that manufactured the device, Inui, is the real culprit. She takes it upon herself to set things straight in the chaotic realm. Paprika is revealed to be Chiba when Inui calls for her death. The two battle for control over Dr. Osunai's body, and in the end, Osunai's physical body is killed. Dreams and reality merge, and Paprika becomes a body separate from Chiba. Inui becomes a humanoid nightmare who seeks omnipotence over the world. Inui is consumed, and a robotic shell turns into a combination of Paprika and Chiba. Armitage 3 the story is set in the future of 2046, where humans are done with robots and do not trust them much anymore. The recent line of robots, known as Seconds, live a hard life due to this. Detective Ross Syllabus's partner is killed by a robot, after which he relocates to Mars. There, he encounters a murder scene where a country singer has been killed in his flight. He observes the situation and meets his partner, Armitage. Armitage is a female police officer with a lot of attitude. A series of murders takes place where more and more women are killed. The cops investigate the matter and a secret unravel. The Seconds weren't the only line of robots in existence. There was another group, known as the Third. However, more and more of these robots go missing, as there is a serial killer on the loose who is hell-bent on destroying this line of robots. As Syllabus and Armitage try to catch the murderer, Armitage reveals herself to be a highly advanced Type 3 android, or a third. Out of ammo, huh? Too bad. Megazone 23. The story of Megazone revolves around a delinquent motorcyclist called Shaogo Yahaji, who discovers the truth about his city from possessing the prototype of a bike. The premise is set in the 24th century, where Earth is almost uninhabitable due to ecological reasons. Humans have succeeded to colonial ships known as Megazone. The spotlight is on the people living in Megazone 2-3 where the people have forgotten that they used to be space travelers. The zone is modeled around 1985 Tokyo. In part one and two, the events take place approximately 500 years after humans have left Earth. In this error, the government tries to hack into the civic computer to use a benevolent artificial intelligence called E. This will allow them to influence the populace into going at war with humans called Dizal who are from the rival Megazone. Protagonist Shiago Yahaji discovers the falsities of the world and contacts Eve. He is determined to assist humanity, but is forced to flee to cyberspace as the government decides to terminate him. In the end, he is saved by Eve, and the conflict ends when a lunar defense system called Atom destroys the battleships. 
The third part takes place several centuries later, where I.G. Takanaka, a hacker, is scouted by a rebel group that works against a spiritual leader called Bishop Wandia. The leader's elite staff is preparing a program called Project Heaven, which IG must investigate. A high-ranking member of the rebel group Sion finds even Tuki Masuri at the city's lowest point, which was meant to be awoken by Shiaga. Sion manages to stop Orange, and Eve heads to Adam's moon base to shut down the program. Trigun. Trigun is set in a fantasy planet called the No Man's Land, and follows the story of Vash the Stampede. He is a famous gunman who fights bounty hunters and the series revolves around exploring his past. The events of the story take place in the 32nd century. Vash is joined by Meryl Strife and Millie Thompson, who are two employees of the Bernardelli Insurance Society, who try to manage the damage caused by his appearance. Vash had apparently destroyed the city in July, but he had retrograde amnesia, for which he could not recall the events of the destruction barring some memories of a destroyed city. He had a $60 billion bounty on his head, which made him a prime target for bounty hunters. Throughout Vash's travels, he uses non-lethal force and tries to save lives. His gunfighting is supreme as well. As the show progresses, Vash's past unravels, and the history of humanity also comes into light. No Guns Life Set in the near future, the humans that have turned into cyborgs in this cyberpunk anime series are called Extended. A catastrophic war has recently ended in this world, where several of these cyborgs have fought. However, many of them have resorted to crime for their survival in the aftermath of the war. Problems caused by the Extended are solved by mercenaries, who are known as Resolvers. One such Resolver is Juzo Inui. However, his life takes a turn for better or worse as a renegade Extended breaks into his office one day and pleads with him to protect a young boy called Tetsuro Arahabaki. Geno Cyber. Geno Cyber is a futuristic show set in Hong Kong about the creation and development of a biological weapon called Geno Cyber. A young girl named Elaine is its protagonist. However, Elaine is mute. She has a sister called Diana who is crippled and mad scientist who seeks the both of them to use their psychic powers and activate the Geno Cyber. They are dragged into this futuristic and dystopian mess against their will, as they are searched for brutally. The search causes the death of several people until the agents of the government capture Elaine and the mad scientist is arrested. Elaine manages to escape after she kills the government agents and the scientist. She had only one friend, a young boy. Elaine finds his corpse after he had fallen to his death from a construction site. Anger fills her and she screams, which triggers a reaction in her. She turns into the Geno Cyber and causes a massive explosion which destroys Hong Kong. The spectacular adventures of Space Dandy and his brave space crew in space. Space Dandy. Space Dandy is a story about the misadventures of an alien hunter named Dandy. He is a dandy guy in space who searches for rare and undiscovered alien species with the help of QT, who is his robot assistant, and Meow, his feline-like friend. Space Dandy is a space opera. Dandy and his crew have the best intentions in their heart. They are dim-witted, and for the lack of a better word, a bunch of almost useless guys. However, Dr. Jell of the Go Ghoul Empire has been pursuing Dandy much to his oblivion. Throughout the series, the characters, protagonist and antagonist alike, are seen dying and turning into zombies. They also get trapped in other dimensions for periods of time. However, they suddenly show up normally in other episodes. Basically, the continuity is kind of loose. Throughout the events of the show, several references are made to older music, internet pop culture, anime, and science fiction. Mobile Suit Gundam. Set in the year 0079 as per the fictional Gundam calendar, the Principality of Zeon has declared independence from Earth. 
A war called the One Year War has been launched, causing the continents on Earth to get affected severely. The space colonies and lunar settlements have also not been left out of this party. Due to superior tactics, Xeon has an upper hand on Earth and uses a new advanced weapon called Mobile Suits Against Humanity. As you would expect from a mecha anime, the conflict causes half of humanity to perish. Char Aznable, the lieutenant commander of Xeon, engages Amoro in battle. Xeon's family members are killed as Amoro seeks revenge. Amoro ends up killing his lover, Lala, while engaging Xeon in battle. In the end, Char forgets who the real enemy is and kills the surviving member of the Zabi family, Cecilia Zabi. The war ends and Amoro reunites with his con. Neo Tokyo. Neo Tokyo is a collection of a couple of short science fiction stories. Labyrinth Lambrithos, Running Man, and Construction Cancellation Order. The first short story revolves around Sachi, a girl who is locked in a hide and seek game with her cat. She finds an old clock, which is also a doorway to a labyrinth world filled with supernatural oddity. They arrive at a circus where a huge viewing screen leads to the next events. Zach Hugh is the Running Man a champion of the Death Circus Racing Circuit. He discovers that he possesses telekinetic ability, which he uses to win against his opponent. However, a new special racer overtakes him in a race. When Hugh tries to use his telekinesis, the power affects him inward and both his car and his mind are subsequently torn apart. In the next short, the premise shifts to South America, where there is a new government that does not want Facility 444 to be constructed. Millions of dollars have been lost and the robots involved in its construction are ordered to be destroyed. Salaryman Satomu loses his claim when the robot 444-1 refuses to stop the construction. So, Sutomu destroys the robot. However, the old government gets restored and they go for the construction of Facility 444. Last Hope the cyberpunk series takes place in the future of 2038, seven years following the Shanglong Crisis. A quantum reactor explodes and causes the destruction of civilization. The animals evolve rapidly, turning into biomechanical creatures. These creatures are called Bray, or Biological Revolutionary of Accelerated Intellect. The biomechanical creatures become a threat to humans when a multi-purpose organic evolution vehicle or MOVE is created. MOVE is a mecha which is meant to fight Bray. A stable quantum reactor is provided to the MOVE by the scientist Leon Lau to fend off the Bray. Pat Labor 2. Pat Labor 2 is set in 2002, three years after the resolution of the Babylon Project. The members of the Pat Labor unit have gone their separate ways. But Gotu is still in the team alongside his crush, Shinobu Nagumo. Japan is overtaken by the Ground Self-Defense Force military. A terrorist organization works from within the force and intends to cause destruction and unrest in Japan. Nagumo learns about her former lover, Yukahito Suji, being the one behind the terrorist organization. The former Pat Labor team is reassembled for the mission to arrest Suji. Nagumo also has to deal with her past relationships and its complications to save Japan. Animation 009 Re Cyborg. 009 Re Cyborg. Nine humans are abducted from different parts of the world. They are subsequently turned into super powerful cyborgs and weaponized. However, these cyborgs refuse to conform and begin to rebel and fight their creators for world peace and justice. Decades pass by and the nine cyborgs find themselves in the complicated spot with justice being a highly arbitrary concept. They do not have a clear place in the new world order anymore. Pacific Rim The Black Pacific Rim The Black is set in the far future where a race of monsters called Kaiju have arisen from the Pacific Rim. These monsters overrun Australia, so now humanity must fight back. Humans build huge armed robots and call them Jaegers to fight these Kaiju monsters, but they fail to do so as the continent is abandoned. Few survivors still live in pockets, two of them being Taylor and Haley Travis. They are siblings left behind by their parents who never return after leaving to fight the kaiju. 
Five years pass by. One day, Haley stumbles across an abandoned training Jaeger, the Atlas Destroyer. She activates it with Taylor, and they set out to find their parents. However, they have a lot of obstacles in their way. Not only do they have to go against Kaiju, but they also have to deal with the remaining survivors, who want to get their hands on the Atlas Destroyer to save themselves. <laughs> Metal Skin Panic, Maddox, Dash 01. A young man named Kuji Sujimoto is a mechanic who works at a car maintenance shop. One day, he gets into a new anti-tank weapon, which was being transported in utmost secrecy. This weapon is called the Slave Trooper, Maddox-01. Koji is unable to get out of it, as the Maddox-01 had a faulty program. He does not know how to use it either. The military chases after him, but he sets off to meet his girlfriend instead. However, he encounters Lieutenant Kilgore, an American soldier who bore a grudge against the Maddox-01. Koji then has to battle with Kilgore. Revisions Revisions follows the story of Daisuke Dejuma, a high school student, and his exploits with his friends after they travel in the future of 2388 from 2017, along with the population of Shibuya. The future is far from being anything close to utopian. Huge mechanical monsters called civilians are used by a group of future dwellers called Revision. These civilians hunt and kill anyone in their path. The only way to destroy them is the HARV and Milo, a woman from the future. Milo arms Daisuke and his friends with a sophisticated mech that is capable of taking down the Revision's offensive weapon. Genesis Survivor Gaiarth. The story of Genesis Survivor Gaiarth begins with an aging wardrobe called Randis R. Kaisar, who takes care of Etal, a person. The world they live in has been devastated from a catastrophic war. Humans live in pockets and try to survive. Technology and its wreckage plague society. They have also turned magical from prolonged ignorance. Artificial intelligence machines that exist in this world have imperatives programmed into them, which they follow. They either protect or destroy humanity. However, a terrible evil awakens in this world, which threatens to bring catastrophe once again. Glass Writer an outbreak of amalgams has plagued modern Germany. These are cybernetic entities which exist to wreak havoc. They can fuse with technology and subsequently gain new abilities. The people of society form a team called the Exogenesis Assault Team, or ZAT, to suppress the threat imposed by the amalgam. At the same time, Amalgamated humans are discovered. These machines are sentient and have rational thoughts unlike the regular amalgams and happen to be far more lethal than the original variant. The Zat must protect the world against these amalgamated humans as well. One such amalgamated human is Joseph Jobson. He can control his powers to a full extent and has always been successful in his line of work. However, he encounters Jerd Fretzen a recent amalgam, who makes Joseph Zat's target. In his journey of survival, Joseph turns into a blast writer, making him the strongest amalgam to ever exist. He uses his new powers to fight against the enemy and uncover the truth about the amalgam conflict and his own past. AD Police to Protect and Serve. The story of AD Police to Protect and Serve revolves around Hans Cleef and Suzaki Kenji, two young detectives who try to turn rogue boomers from turning their city into a wasteland. The antagonistic group Packer Syndicate is headed by Liam Fletcher, who creates obstacles for Kenji and company in the series. Other police force members are seen growing close to one another as friends, as the series mainly revolves around friendship, especially in the case of Hans and Kenji. A romantic connection between Kyoko and Kenji also takes the spotlight. Freedom 
Freedom is a seven-part OVA series set in 2041 on Earth. The Freeport Space Station was pulled into the Earth's atmosphere, resulting in the Great Cataclysm, an event which completely ruined the environment of the planet. As Earth is left as a polluted wasteland, the surviving humans battle one another for resources. Humanity is decreasing rapidly, but life is still there on the moon, which was originally an immigration outpost for those who intended to explore Mars. However, the moon turns into a city with a good quality of life and is referred to as the City of Eden, and the lunar base wishes to colonize the moon. Takeru is a citizen of Eden who races in tube races in hovercraft vehicles. However, an accident causes him to end up with volunteer work outside his city, where he stumbles upon remains that hold the secret for the genesis of Earth and Eden. Space Runaway Ideon, Be Invoked In Space Runaway Ideon, Be Invoked, mankind has come across several alien civilizations as they have traveled to the stars. But these civilizations are now dead. On a planet called Solo, the remains of a civilization are discovered. Humanity encounters a living alien species for the first time the buff clan the military leader of the clan had a daughter called carola ajiba she sets foot on the surface of solo which causes the clan to launch a brutal attack to ensure her survival and retrieve her cosmic yuki Bess johnson and kasha imhoof transform into trucks and then form a giant robot called idion solo's settlement is destroyed and the inhabitants break into a spaceship to flee they do not find peace as they are still pursued by the buff clan Deno Bokenki Web Diver. Deno Bokenki Web Diver is set in 2100. A computer network ties the world together, and the children of this new world are called Web Divers. Web Divers are people who adapt their consciousness to data. They play together in the cyber park as well. But a computer virus appears and begins to destroy the magical gate for their research from within and outside. The programs of cyberspace are called web nights, which are created to protect the children. But the computer virus has caused the web nights to go against the children. Gladion is the only web knight who manages to escape from being brainwashed. It joins hands with Kaito Yuki to solve its situation. Ultraviolet Code 044 In Ultraviolet Code 044, 044 becomes extremely strong, possibly the strongest female soul. A virus manipulates her gene and causes it to mutate, giving her these powers. She becomes excellent in combat as well. However, the high advantage is not free of cost. Her days become numbered. She is assigned a mission by the government, one where she has to destroy a notorious squad called Phage and its leader. She fights Phage and encounters a soldier called Luca. However, 044 is unable to kill him, and she does not know why. The leader of the government group, Daxus Jr., labels her as a traitor for not killing Luca. Now, both Phage and the government target her, but she runs away with an injured Luca. Ongo. Ongo is set in a near-future Japan. Tokyo has been devastated by war. As Japan had sent their military abroad, terrorists attacked the country, killing the populace and causing the cityscapes to take a major toll. As the war recedes and an uneasy peace is attained, the Japanese parliament passes an act called the Information Privacy and Protection Act. This allows the Japanese government to acquire complete control over the internet. The detective, Shinjuro Yuki, is the protagonist, and along with his partner Inga, makes a living by solving crime. However, he is severely impacted and influenced following the events in this dystopian world. What did you think of those cyberpunk series and films? Did you enjoy this video? If yes, then don't forget to like and comment on this video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice one.